Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 50 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, appreciate you tuning in to today's show. It's actually our 50th episode. That's right, we have over 100 videos now on the YouTube channel and it's all thanks to you. Each week I'm producing videos related to the questions that you ask. We've got Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, Lightroom, you name it, we're touching all of the creative suite. Last week we talked about perspective drawing inside of Adobe Illustrator. Today we're going to talk about search engine optimization of your images. We're going to start with Adobe Lightroom. Let's go ahead and jump on in. You can see on the screen in front of you I've got Lightroom open. I'm in the library module and I want to draw your attention to the metadata panel. Now there's a couple different ways to add metadata presets but I want you to see that some of you are not looking at the entire list of categories that you have to offer. So if I go to IPTC, I've got more fields to fill out. IPTC is your International Press Telecommunications Council. Now, if you want to know more, you can go to IPTC.org, but suffice to say, there's lots of fields, descriptive fields that you can add to your images. That's not just important to you searching inside of Lightroom to find things. It's very important because it's tagged as metadata when you add those images on the internet. So Google, Yahoo, Bing, your different search engines can see that info. How do I know this? Because I know some great people, some smart people, including Giovanni Gallucci, who told me to do so. How do I know that he's an expert? Do a Google search, social media expert, you're going to see he's number one. So let's take a look at how we edit these fields. I don't want to do every single image one by one. We're going to use a preset. To create a preset, all I need to do is start with one image. And if I go to the preset pull down, people are confused because it doesn't say new preset. All you have to do is choose to edit presets. In this dialog box, notice right away that it says custom because you're going to create a brand new custom preset. So you can start by filling out some fields. Now the fields that matter the most to you are going to be the copyright field. So you put in your copyright information, change the pull down, you go to the creator information, put all of your contact info, phone, email, website, everything that's important related to you. You can fill out the content info, put in a headline, general description, and categories a number of fields here to fill out. Rather than fill out all these fields manually right now in the video, I've gone ahead and created a preset. So once you have filled out your custom fields, save those settings as a new preset. Because I already have one, I'm going to hit Done, and I will go and select all the images by going to Edit, choosing Select All, and simply grabbing my copyright preset from the list. In one fell swoop, all of the images have been updated, and if we take a look, it doesn't matter which image I select, it has all of my copyright info. So contact information, content info, copyright information. And I can add this every time I import. That's right, I've made a preset. Let's take a look at what happens when you import. If I go to the import dialog box by clicking on the import button, the next time I go to add images from my camera, I simply have to go to the Apply During Import panel, choose My Metadata Preset, and notice if you don't have any, once again, you have the option to either edit an existing preset, or here it actually has the new option. So I'd simply select my metadata preset, click on the Import button, and then all of my images would be imported with that preset in place. I can't emphasize it enough. This metadata is good on the web. Go ahead, change your images, update your metadata, get found by those search engines, get the ranking that you want. So if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, please give it two thumbs up. 
Remember, I'm here each week creating the videos that you ask for. You can find me on Facebook, on Google+, on Twitter. Go to my website, ajwood.com. Ask me those questions, connect with me online, and I'll see you again soon.